Good evening, everybody. I hope you're doing well on this Friday evening. I've just had an email through from the developers over at Astra to say that I can beat the test or I can test out the new Astra header and footer builder. So I'm going to take a quick look at that. This is my kind of first look. I'm not going to go into a huge detailed tutorial because I don't think I need to for this. It's pretty simple and straightforward. But I am planning on working on creating a tutorial about using Astra and some of the features because they've brought out quite a lot of really nice new additional features over the last say six to eight months so if you'd like to be kept up to date when that's going to be released just drop a comment in the comment section below make sure you subscribe to the channel okay so you can get access to the header and footer builder in a couple of different ways if you go into the astra options you can see we've got header builder and we've got footer builder alternatively you can also go into the customizer i believe and from there you've got access to your header and footer builder which is primarily going to do the same thing so we'll come back out of that. Let's just start off with the header builder. So this is just a demo site now that when you take a look at testing this out, this is all kind of set up for you. So I'm just literally going into an Astra site that's already been set up and configured. I just taken a look at these options to do the header and footer. So what you got is just a simple layout that shows you the header, the three different sections for the header. We've got the top section, we've got the main section, which is going to feature you things like your logo, search, navigation those kinds of things and then if you want to have a subsection underneath now you don't have to use all of these you can use whatever you want if you take a look at the top you can see there's the example of what we're seeing which is in this case the middle row so you can see it's broken up into three columns we've got a cog to the left hand side which allows us to then configure various different things we've got the height of that so we can adjust that on there and you can see updates in real time we can reset that the design then allows you to control things like borders border color background colors, those kinds of things. And this all integrates in the updated design aesthetic or the updated design controls you have with the latest version of Astra. So you've got a lot more control over these different aspects. You can also switch between the different views between your desktop, your tablet, and your mobile. So when you go over to mobile, for example, you can see we get this extra section for off canvas. So what you're seeing on the right hand side is the main navigation. You can see all the main header section at the top. So at the moment, again, the logo on the left hand side, the toggle button for your navigation on the right hand side. But then also get control over the actual off canvas menu. So if we click to open up the off canvas menu, you can see it shows us what's inside there. So this will show us that. Click on the off canvas on the cog on there. And we can choose between fly out, full screen and drop down. So you get various different designs that you can reference. So let's just say, for example, we'll try drop down and we'll just test that out. And you see that now drops down from the top. And if we change that over to full screen and do the same again, we can click. We now get a full screen version of it. So all really, really simple and straightforward. You then got the drop down target. You can switch between icon and link. Your design, which again allows you to configure the look and feel of this. So we'll just open this up. I say your background color and image. So we can set our background color on if we want to. So we can click and we can use any of these new design tools. So we can say we want this to be the Astra purple. Click on that. Boom. You can see that immediately pulls it up. You want to create a gradient. Well, you could do exactly that. You can adjust the angle of your gradient. So you can control all of that. You can choose your gradient type, whether you want it to be radial or you want it to be just a linear gradient. Obviously, you can clear that if you want to. You can also set an image in the background. So you can easily just choose an image. So let's just say we'll up upload something. I'll just upload this dark texture and we'll let that go in there. Or this light texture, I should say. We'll select that. We've now got this texture in the background. You can see that shows up inside there. We've got more settings so we can control how this is repeating, the position of it and all those kinds of things. All those things that you're kind of used to when you're working with images in page builders and things like that. So it's good to see we've got control over all those options and close that down and we can choose the icon color. We can reset that. So we've got a lot of control over how all of this looks. So let's just quickly come back in, reset that and put that back to what it was. Now, if we switch back to tablet you can see we've still got the off canvas or we switch back to full desktop and we've got full access to everything on there so now we can just easily come in and choose various different widgets so if we click on the logo for example we now have all the options for our logo so we can set the logo width display the site title tagline your site icon and again you've got full control over the the design side of things if you want to add something new in, you can simply click on the plus and then you've got a whole range of different widgets. And this is going to work in pretty much the same kind of way as your typical page builder does. You want to insert something else, you insert it. So let's just say, for example, we want to put a button over on the right hand side. We'll click on there. We'll say we want to add a button in. 
We can reposition that if we want to in any way we want. And you can see that immediately shows at the top. So if you want to insert a call to action button, super easy to do. We can click on the button itself and then we've got full control over both the general information. So the link, whether you want to open a new tab, the rel link information, the design, then we can go in and control the design on this. So your colors, your border, your typography. So you can make sure that all of this looks exactly the way you want and in keeping with the design that you're working on. So, for example, if we wanted to change the color, we can click on there and we can see we can choose the text color and the background color. Once you have the background color, we can just choose the color chip. We'll set that to be blue. Now when we mouse over, you can see it changes color on there. We can also change various different aspects based upon the device you're using. So you can switch and have different options based upon the mobile, tablet and desktop views. So it's all really simple and straightforward. This is what I mean. I don't think you really need some kind of in-depth tutorial for it. Because if you've ever used anything like this before, it's pretty much self-explanatory. There's nothing complex about it. So that's how we deal with the header section. Once we're happy with that, we can click on publish and we are done with that side of things. So now we could come back out of this, go back to our customizer and we can jump into the footer builder and we can do exactly the same thing inside there. So we've got a copyright at the bottom, for example, we can click, we can open that up and use the normal editor. So it's very easy to drop in links, style your text and all those kinds of things, your alignments, everything you'd need to do. And again, your design options are all inside there as well. You can, can easily come in and edit any of these options. You can edit the layout. So you can see currently we're using a three column layout, but we've got three equal columns. Well, you could easily change that to any of these options, any of these layouts. And again, you can change these based upon the mobile, tablet and desktop view. So you can make sure your footer looks exactly how you want it to on any of these devices. Really, really simple, really easy to use. And like I say, I don't think anybody's going to struggle with using this kind of option because there's nothing complex about it in the slightest. So once you finish designing where you want, you can just simply hit the publish option and that's your header and your footer created. So this is the new header and footer inside Astro, which is coming very soon, I would assume, seeing as this is already available now for public testing. And I think it's a great way of working. I think it's a really simple way of working. Is it new to the party? Is it something that we've never seen before? No, of course not. But then does that matter? I think it's one of those things that it's just more options we have available to us more control over our sites where we don't necessarily have to rely upon page builders to create these. So if you are just using the theme on its own or you're using like Elemental Free where you don't necessarily get access to creating headers and footers or you simply just don't want to do it inside your page builder. It's a perfectly fine option to me. I think this is something that's quite useful and I'm glad to see that it's being brought in. The more things we have like this inside our themes is a good thing. So this was just a super quick video just to give you a brief overview of the new forthcoming Astra Head and Footer Builder. If you'd like to see more information like this, drop a comment in the comment section below. Hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed it, smash the subscribe button, the bell icon, all those things that you should be used to by now. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.